This is my group six. I would like to say good evening to teachers and good evening to classmates. So our group today are going to present about uh, Myanmar's country. Now I would like to introduce my name first. My name is Sai Hans. I'm a second year of uh, English for Education and my friends. My name is Mr. Pui. My major is teaching English as a foreign language. My name is Pane. My major is English literature. My name is Bunha. My major is law. Uh, my name is Dutana and my major uh, English teaching for a living. Uh, I am Bunha. I am studying in the University of English. My name is Pen. I am in my second year. And my major is teaching English as foreign language. So the first, I would like to invite uh, my group member to uh, introduce about the Myanmar. And now let's all go to visit Myanmar together. Okay, Good evening, teacher again. And I'm the first uh, for the first presentation for Myanmar. And I would like to present the first slide. <laughs> is the uh, introduction. The first is name and as you know, uh, Myanmar or uh, Burma, we have uh, four, but uh, I forgot to put the, the four, the four names in this slide. And the first is uh, the union of Myanmar that start from 1984 until January of 1974. And the second of the name that we might have changed in the recorded term is uh, become Socialist Republic of Union of Myanmar that starts from January of 1974 to September 1988. And the, the third name of Myanmar we call the Burma of, of the Union of Myanmar that starts from 1988. Until 2011, and the land that we start from 2011 to present is the uh, Republic of Union of Myanmar. For this period, we have three presidents that live for this period, and the second, uh, five presidents, and the last, two presidents, and the, the, the name of the youth every day. Only one president until now. For this one, I would like to talk about the, the flag of Myanmar. And as you see in the slide, we have four. If you have three color in this flag, the the top is talk about the yellow, and the yellow is refer to the symbolic solitary amount of this girl. Why we say the yellow is refer to that that meaning because of the in Burma or Myanmar we have uh, we have more than one hundred in the group and the second color is green present about the peace tranquility and uh, nation wide and environment so this green is present about peace peace in the the Myanmar or Burma and the third is the red that refer to the correct of this division and this means the the decision of all the people in Burma and all the, the leader in Burma have to improve the the country to be development. And the last one is the the star, the white star that mention about the consulate Consolidated Union. Okay, for for this point, it means we cooperate all the members, also the other the people in the country and all the leaders have to improve and and avoid the war in the country. Okay, for this slide, I will invite my friend to talk about this slide. It's not Southern Asian, it's the, we have the small mistake. 
and the border of Myanmar with the India as you see the the map. The border, the border with India, China, Laos, and Thailand, and the small part with the Bangladesh, and with the sea, we have it. Uh, we call Andaman Sea and Bay of Bangladesh. So between Bangladesh and Thailand, this is the the border of the Myanmar, and Myanmar is. In the southern Asia, it's not it's not southern Asia. It's the uh, we have the small state and the border of Myanmar have with the India as you see the the map. the border the border with India, China. Laos and Thailand, and the small part with the Bangladesh, and with the sea, we have it. Uh, we call Andaman Sea and Bay of Bangladesh. So between Bangladesh and Thailand, this is the the border of the Myanmar. Muslim 4% and Hinduism 
and some part of Japan still occupy in this time, but it's going to get the first independent from Japan, not from the Britain, because the Britain is already finished, but it still have some occupy only from the Japan. And wait on the surface relationship between China and Vietnam during the Cold War. Now let's start talking about the post-war and Cold War to the present. Even this country get again the independent from Britain or from Japan, but this country also cannot get the full are fully independent in their own country. This country also still have some problem with their own borders like Thailand, China, and some other country, but they, not, uh, they did not mention in the document. But it's just the information that I get from the, the, some of the documents say that this kind of country still also have some problem, or we can call the cold world of this country to again with some country during their own borders. So, go to the next. So, uh, through the post cold world presence, uh, uh, according to the, the the ministry of this country try their own best to get their fully independent from the other uh, complete or other country that try to again with this country. So uh, Aung San Suu Kyi is the first leader who first, who first uh, passed the election from the people, but because of this country still have some uh, this is not uh, get it. uh, it's not freedom yet. So because this country is not a democracy a country, so some countries cannot stand for their own uh, leader. She cannot stand for the leader, but she have to stay in the house. I mean that even she pass the election from the people, they vote for her to, uh, to be president, but she cannot stand for the minister or to the a government to to, uh, to to leave their own country, but she just stay at home. I mean that she stay in prison because Mr. Sang uh, uh, Su is not allow her to be uh, a leader of the country. He did not allow her to be uh, a government. So that's all for my responsibility. And now I would like to invite my friend. Maybe this slide. Thank you again, teacher. So my name is Pei. Uh, I'm in this group, and it's a great honor to, for me to be uh, here to have an uh, opportunity to present this ability of our research about Myanmar, as we call Burma too. So my response is to present about government. So government in each country, there is always government who respond for the country to lead the country and take over the country and. Know, prepare and manage the country to be uh, well uh, living. So, take a look at Section Leaf. Section Leaf is a person who is in charge of the country to manage everything and every stuff in the country, uh, like uh, trading and some stuff and making the law and also manage the citizens. So, the president of this country, his name is Tian Sin. He is a Burmese as well, and he's a politician, and and he he was a prime minister in 2007. So I mean, before he became the president of the this country, so he was the prime minister in 2007 until 2011. He became the prime minister and the, the president of this uh, country, and he was born. On April 20th, 1945, and he's now he's uh, 70 years old. So he's uh, not very old, but he's a, uh, he's a good leader who will take over of this country. And his education, he went to the United States to get his, his background is from the United States, and he uh, he was a student in the college of uh, Emory Common and. General Staff College, Defense Service Army. 
So I mean he, his field was army. So he take and he learn stuff about army. So in order to defense the country away from uh, against from other country. And I got to talk about uh, legislation. So legislation is about making law. So in each country, there's always law. Which the, the, the things that make people to do the right thing and make the country to be well uh, living and also to take over all the citizens to respect and to obey the law in order to run well the, the country. So, legislation, we have New Year Assembly and it's in the bracket we call Frida. Su Utah, and next we are called House of National of Nationality, and then we go House of Representative. So mean the law has to be made by those three sectors that we call at the moment. So in each of those we have uh, like by common law consists of the House of Nationalities. It has a twenty. Uh, 224 seats, 168 directly elected and 56 appointed by the military members serve five years. So mean each of the people who work in this uh, legislation, so it to take for five years and then retire. So and the next week, uh, talk about House of Representatives, also the sectors that involve in legislations to make up the law. And we call it FITU LUTO. It has uh, 440 seats, third, 320 directly elected, and 110 appointed by the military. And his member, and this, the people who appoint this member, who work in this member, is uh, limited to five years. So we mean five years term, and then going to switch to other people. So the next thing is about Judy City, or we call it Judy Call. It's about um, courts, it's about something like uh, solving arguments, and so finding the justice for the people in the country. So it has very important uh, value in the country to have this because it helps people a lot. Because without this, people will live in trouble and they can't solve problems that they have in the country. For example, like a human, they live in a village and they have a human with the neighbor. So the person that can solve this problem is like they need to go to the authorities and then they have to go to the court to solve the achievement to find out who is uh, right and who is wrong. And highest court, uh, the sovereign court of the union, it consists of chef justice. So the member is one to element judge. So judge is the person who will sit in the court and listen to the uh, people who have the achievement uh, to solve the problem for those people. So the member is uh, seven to eleven. And the judge is a selected and term of office chef, justice, and judge nominated by the president. So, I mean, all of those people, all of the judges in the courts who are working for the judge or judge city, is uh, uh, covered by the uh, president, I mean, led by the president, and handled by the president of the country. So, and um, and in this as well, in this sector as well, uh, in this system for judiciary, also the member in these uh, sectors, they will retire. The retirement will up to uh, 70 years old. So when they are 70 years old, they have to be retired, and then they will uh, uh, change to other people. Next. So next time we're going to talk about political. Uh, political parties in, in Burma or in Myanmar. So in each country there is always a political party 
who involved with the country to uh, to show the fashion and to show their uh, reason, uh, reason that they want to help the country, to develop the country in order to make it a better and better develop. So in this uh, slide, I'm going to show some of the parties that involve. But this is these are only the, the the parliamentary parties with the party that have registered into the, the government into the country. And I just take one uh, of the most strongest and the most uh, uh, popular in the country is uh, it's the first one, it's New Year's Solitary and Development Party and the abbreviation is USDP which is the, the most strongest party in this country and it is uh, headed by the President Xi Jinping and it has won in 2010, it won uh, 883 seats of 1,154 uh, is the total amount of the seats and 259 seats of uh, 325 seats from P2 uh, to 129 seats of 168 uh, seats from House of Nationalities 495 of 661 House of the uh, Representative. But other parties, they just a uh, party that uh, they did the competition, but they did not win the elections. But they also the party that want to for the country to have the country to be built. So that's all for my uh, presentation. And I would like to take this turn to uh, my next member. And my name Dana, and I would like to presentation about the labor of uh, the labor in Myanmar. Uh, the labor in Myanmar is uh, talk about the market problem, and all the people and all the students in Myanmar can find a job by newspaper and 
agency and uh, certified website or tool. And in uh, in the uh, Myanmar, uh, expert expert partner with uh, the first uh, USA, India, uh, Thailand, China, and Japan, and the export partner with the Thailand, China, Singapore, South Korea, and Malaysia. And agriculture. Agriculture in uh, Myanmar and talk about the world grain rice growing. Uh, because uh, in the Myanmar has a land landlord rejection by the IRWD machine. Uh, the people can grow uh, especially the rice and jute, cotton and uh, sea sesame. And the government uh, pro promote about the product of the rye too. And uh, next slide. Uh, I I would like to tell about the tourism world heritage ship and foreign ship. In Myanmar has a lot of uh, you for visit and helps a lot of the foreigners come to visit about the old temple and the waterfall. And uh, helps uh, 400 project from 29 country up to the end of September in 2006. And uh, the the four the four land this direct investment in this project and spend the US dollar thirteen point eighty five billion major in investor as Asian country in the almost of in the amount of almost half of the total investment. Uh, the current currency of the Kuma or Myanmar and Kya and some sometimes pronounced Ya and the salt and the salt of the, the keyword K for example 500 K mean that 500 shah and in Puma don't have the international banking right now and at the moment has a local bank as in the process of becoming part of the international banking system. Uh, Good evening, teacher. My name is Tanya. Uh, uh, I'm responsible of opportunities uh, when the ACE, when the AEC arrives. Myanmar has opportunities also to develop uh, their economy. For opportunities, it has four points to talk about. 
the first one by 2013, the GDP of Myanmar could reach uh, 200 million US. That is uh, means the GDP in 2013 is higher than the GDP in uh, 2012, 4 And uh, the second point, the customer class could reach 20 million people that, spend, that they can spend uh, 100 billion dollars. The third point, 10, uh, 10 million people can get uh, new jobs, opportunities in land agri agriculture areas. And the four points, uh, 500 million people plus customer in neighbor markets that they can uh, use products in Myanmar. Uh, free flow of good it also means opportunities in Myanmar also. Uh, the free flow of goods is the matter land for Myanmar. But Myanmar uh, try to try to cut reduction as an inflow from other countries also. Uh, the second point is uh, an example for free flow of goods. That's all for my slide. Mm -hmm. I just want to go on my slide uh, about the uh, free flow of service. Uh, before I want to explain you, I want to tell you about the uh, opportunity and the challenge has the same. When we have the opportunity, always have challenge into the opportunity also. That means that uh, free flow of service. That means opportunity for the Myanmar means that uh, the people can get more working place and can get a more job in the when they have a free flow of service into the Myanmar and also have a problem also because uh, when they, we have a free flow of service into the Myanmar Myanmar will be uh, fixed to problem for the another country that around the Myanmar after slide. About the uh, free flow of investment. Free flow of investment means that uh, is the when the Myanmar into the integration for the Asian Myanmar will be can get opportunity for the direct investment from the foreign around the world. That means that when the Myanmar uh, provide for the free flow of investment to the foreign, uh, foreign around the world, Myanmar can get more <coughs> economy than into the Myanmar country. This uh, opportunity, but for the challenge, challenge means that what the Myanmar can provide some. Uh, investment for the foreigner come to invest in the Myanmar. This is the point of the challenge for the Myanmar. And also the next one. For the challenge, this is for the uh, challenge in Myanmar is the meaning of challenge. But I want to tell you about the the best point or the main point of the challenge in Myanmar. For the next slide, yes. The next slide. Yes. Uh, four challenge in the Myanmar. We have uh, four challenge, four point that the uh, average of productivity of worker that have lower than the school leave. Meaning that uh, <coughs> mean, mean that uh, uh, productivity of worker lower than the average of schooling. In the product uh, duty of worker have only uh, lower than 
seventy percent of the average of schooling. That is the challenge of the BMI. And the next point for the movement of ten million people from the rural area to the city center means that the the ten of million people in Myanmar from the rural from the rural always movement to the city to find the working place and to change the place for living. That is the for the challenge also. And the next point for the requirement of the six hundred fifty million US in foreign direct investment. Minute I tell you before the for the investment free flow of investment that is the challenge also in Myanmar because foreign need to requirement of top up 650 billion US dollar for to investment to the Myanmar but Myanmar can provide for the worker for the something that to do for the foreign investment in the uh, Myanmar that is the challenge of the Myanmar uh, country. My name is Chichas. My name is Bubon Has. Now it is my own reason about uh, Myanmar to you from my friends. Uh, it starts from a policy towards the integration to ASEs. Uh, in 1995, Myanmar uh, decided to decided to integrate at least uh, two reasons. First, uh, internal and external not a high change in the countries and second age of globalization and regionalism and how really was Myanmar to ASEs according to response this question is this question Myanmar has been actively participating and coordinating with other countries in ASEs and developed a capital market or financial markets and facilitating investment investment procedures and opportunity in uh, doing business in Myanmar and then uh, develop, uh, develop uh, SME, uh, SMEs enterprise and the last uh, create a one-stop service office in Myanmar for for company who want which want to run business in Myanmar and it's uh, this time uh, at the end, I would like to conclude about Myanmar countries. Myanmar country is a member of Association of Southeast Asian since 1995. Uh, and Myanmar, uh, Myanmar city is a uh, my without uh, after changing from around 2005. Uh, now, nowadays, Myanmar, uh, government of Myanmar led by uh, President of Tencent uh, since uh, 2011. And uh, people in Myanmar mostly believe on uh, Buddhism. Uh, and well, about borders next to uh, five countries, the first uh, India, Bangladesh, China, Laos and Thailand. And classmate, uh, climate, climate uh, is similar to Cambodia, Cambodia is uh, also. And population, uh, population is estimated uh, by uh, 56, 56 billion uh, at the beginning of uh, billion at the beginning of uh, 2016. <laughs> uh, Myanmar used its language as a uh, also language and English uh, is a second language. And Myanmar is just as official uh, currencies. And there is no uh, international banking in uh, Myanmar now. now. And education system uh, managed by the uh, government. And opportunity in uh, Myanmar for AZ has a street. Uh, free flows of goods, free flows of service, and free flows of investment. And 
how it was labor markets in Myanmar is still uh, get a small story for uh, employees working in factories. And for economies, uh, for economies in Myanmar depend on uh, lab uh, labor working in factories, agriculture, mining and manufacturing, tourism, trade, foreign trade, currency banking, transportation, and uh, telecommunication. And recommendation. Uh, recommendation, uh, I have detailed in uh, the book, so I just extract on the four main case. The first, uh, the government of Myanmar a uh, uh, reform of police force and can religion complex management and so, so uh, check our banking system management and the last uh, labor market in Myanmar. So uh, my presentation might not be finished. Uh, if you have any question, research suggestion or recommendation, please keep it back. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, uh, teacher, for your special time and volume time spending watching these videos. I mean, this, this presentation we're going to make up into a video and send to you. And any comments and judge this uh, feedback to us. And we hope this will find you well and we hope that um, uh, it will work well with our teams and uh, with you. And thank you so much for your value time teaching us with this subject. And we went briefly uh, searching in this uh, topic about media file. So we would like to say sorry and apologize for something went wrong or mistakes in these uh, videos. Um, finally, we would like to say thank you so much again. And we would like to say goodbye, teacher. <laughs>